Well, school may be back in session for most in the tri-state, but class is just beginning at colleges and universities. Now to your sides, Kristen Swilly joins us live now from Northern Kentucky University with new and returning students and what you need to know on this move in weekend. Yeah, well, Tamika, NKU does have move-in weekend down to a science. They even got a recommendation saying everyone should really just bring one car to move the process along a lot quicker. But they've also got something really cool, and that is a recommendation list. The most extensive one we found, and we thought a lot of that advice could apply to students coming back to colleges and universities across the tri-state. So one of the biggest things to really do is check in with your school, call ahead to your dorm, and see what's already available before you go ahead and come on down here so you don't waste money or leave anything behind. For example, here at NKU, you can check out a vacuum at your hall's front desk and laundry is free. Big deal, guys. So you do not need those rolls of quarters like I had to use down at FAMU. So you also need to know what you can't bring. For example, coffee pots not allowed. Keurigs are. Then, of course, there's the things you forget you need until you're all settled in, like a lockbox for your important documents and valuables, cleaning supplies and under the bed storage boxes. Don't forget, some campuses allow you to loft your bed for extra floor space. And of course, many of these colleges, like right here at NKU, do have move in times broken down by your last name. So, for example, Swilly, I'd be going nearly last. Make sure you check your school's website for those times. But move in day is down here at NKU from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Reporting live, Kristen Swilly, 9 on your side. All right, we wish those NKU students a lot of luck today as they move in.